Okay, I'm going to show you um, just in a quick video here how to set up your automated email sequence if you're delivering your um, lead magnet freebie live. So again, if you're um, delivering this lead magnet in person with some sort of assessment or consultation or it's over the phone or Skype, you know, whatever it is, you are live. It was booked through Acuity. They were added to your email list through Acuity, um, you're going to set up your um, automated email sequence just a little bit differently um, because the first email that they receive is not going to be the delivery of their lead magnet. We want the first email that they receive to be the follow-up email and that's going to be one day after their appointment. So we have to sort of set it that it triggers um, knowing the date of their appointment and it, it, it's pretty easy um, but it's just a little bit different than triggering it as soon as they're added to the list like you would do um, if you were emailing them the lead magnet. So we're going to go to create. I'm going to go to create an email. It's going to be automated. Now instead of using one of these we're going to go to a date based email and we're going to select a specific date and that's what's going to trigger the campaign. So I'm going to call this um, you know, free consult nurture sequence. And we're going to, you're going to add it to the same list that um, is integrated with Acuity. So that should be um, your client patient list. So everyone's going to get added here. So even if they're a lead, they're just coming to you for free, they're going to be added here, but they're going to be in their own segment um, because they automatically get put in here through Acuity and it's noted that they're here for only a free session. So it's, I really like the way Acuity does this um, because it automatically segments your list based on their appointment type. Um, so then we come to this page and you can see it's got one email here. The triggers are all off 14 days before your appointment date. It has an email. Then it has another email. Then it has another email. And I'm just going to add two more here for our five emails. So these will be the five emails that go out. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, do I do six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, why are there? Oops, I did. So you can delete this email. So now there are five. And this the way it does it, you kind of have to work backwards. So instead of starting here and saying we're going to send it one day after the appointment, you have to sort of work backwards the way this one works. Um, and it's always after the last appointment date. So we're going to trigger it and let's say it's you're, you're going to sort of have to add up all the spaces in between your, your emails. Um, so let's just say quickly that it's 13. The last one's going to come out 13 days after their last appointment. Update the trigger. Now the one sp specific thing we want to do here is edit this segment because we don't want to send it to some, anybody in this list 13 days after their appointment because that could be paying clients. We only want it to be a certain segment and that's going to be subscribers who match the following conditions. And that's the people who have an appointment type. So you're going to see what I've just done. I went choose segment, subscribers that match the following conditions. I found last appointment type. And then you're going to type in exactly how, what it's called in Acuity. So I'm just going to check. Yeah, I think free nutrition consultation. I'm going to call it free. Oops. This you want it to be exact because this field automatically gets put in when they register with Acuity. So again, anytime someone has this appointment type, 13 days, so we'll click save segment. So if they have that appointment type, then 13 days after their last appointment, they'll get this email. And again, you can edit the schedule so it sends every day, it only sends to them some days. It only sends at certain times. I like when it sends any day. I mean, I don't know why we would not send it on certain days. Um, so I send it every day. You can send it at whatever time you want. So 
So save this. So then again, this last email is sent out 13 days after their appointment if they have that one specific type of appointment. Now we'll set up the time periods for all of these and then I'll show you the design. So it's going to be the exact same. We're going to edit the segment, choose a segment, match, go to the appointment type is oops, free nutrition consultation. And now I'm getting smart and I'm just going to copy that. Save segment. And so this one is going to come, let's say it comes uh, nine days after your last appointment. That's email four. So 13, nine. This one's going to come six days. And this is whatever you've mapped out in the, the worksheet that I gave you. Um, edit the segment again. Choose subscribers. This appointment type. So you can see it's pretty easy. It's just putting it all in. So we're almost done. So then this trigger is going to be just three days. Three days after the appointment. Edit the segment. And then this one is just going to be that first follow-up email and it's going to go out one day after their appointment. Edit the segment. Okay. So you can see here, one day after their last appointment, so one day after that free consultation, because we've said only people who have, you know, have been in the free consultation is their last appointment, will get this. Then three days after they receive an email, six days, nine days, 13 days, right? So we've got the full schedule of automated emails. Then the next step is go in, you're just going to go in and do design email. I'm going to call the email email one, you'll put the subject in, how did it go yesterday, or whatever you want to call it, your from name, your email address, Let's see if it, I was just going to say, it may not let me do this, because I don't think I verified, I'll just do this and see, yeah, um, so I like for these just a pretty basic email. You want it to look as much like a standard email. So I don't really like any of these ones with the images. I like just simple text, but again, you can choose what you want. Or you can have a logo at the top. I mean, even here you can customize it. So if you decide that you want an image at the top with your logo, you just drag it, drop, brown, you know, upload your logo. Um, or you could delete it anytime. And then you'll come into here and you'll actually put in any of your text here. So you'll just copy and paste whatever you've written. I kind of like to delete as much of this as possible, but they usually add it back in. They add back the unsubscribe, but often it will show your mailing address and things, which I don't like, but it usually adds it back in. So, you know, once you get your email looking just like you want it to, and you can preview it this way, um, you'll go to save and continue. And these are not meant to be complicated, right? They're just basic emails. We're just designing them in something else. Then you'll go to the next one. You'll design that. You'll go to the next one. And then when they're all designed, you click next and you can schedule them out. I don't know if it'll let me do it since yet. So it goes to all of these different things. You know, you'll have to kind of go through here. See, I didn't design them all. I haven't designed them all. And I would just call them email one, two, three, four, five, but it's up to you, whatever you want to call them. And then once they, that gets scheduled, you're just going to click start workflow. And so then when someone is added to that client patient email, um, email list with a free consultation as their appointment type, they'll be triggered to start getting these appointment uh, emails 
one day after their appointment and so on and so that's what you're going to want and then if they go on to book with you they'll already be on your email list um, but their last appointment will get changed to initial consultation and then follow-up visit and these emails won't be triggered I mean in the future you could set up other auto emails for these types of things um, but they'll already be on your list so I mean if you have any questions you can let me know on Facebook um, but hopefully this was um, pretty self-explanatory for you you can go right through Thanks, guys.